Hello again. It's Friday, January the 25th, 2019. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Operation Buzzkill was conducted in the region yesterday. An arrest of 24 of 29 individuals who were recently indicted by an Allegheny County grand jury on a total of 129 charges. Some of those indicted were already in jail, with others being rounded up as this report goes public. The Clifton Forge Little League program is now registering youths from all across the area with multiple sessions at the Clifton Forge Armory and also online signups as well. Chris Rohr, Vice President of the League, spoke with the Journal about this year's program on Wednesday. Listen. There's no cost. It's, it's absolutely free to sign up your child. And now a word from our sponsor. DSLCC is assisting dozens of its students via fast-tracking training programs for high-demand jobs. It's called Fast Forward and much more information about the concept is available right now on the dslcc.edu website. The Allegheny Highlands Chamber of Commerce and Tourism has announced the upgrading of its Blue Way brochure and website that makes it easier for visitors to learn about the many options available on our waterways. Log on to www.alleghenyhighlandsblueway.com for much more information. Having two area libraries full of events and programs is a huge asset. The journal has just updated a list of activities for the month of February scheduled by the Allegheny Highlands Regional Library. And in Clifton Forge, the many programs of the Clifton Forge School of the Arts is now on display at the Clifton Forge Public Library. And we'll be right back. Let's take a look at some upcoming events. And now for local obituaries. Betty Wade, 81 of Clifton Forge, died on January the 15th. Albert Hostetter, 77 of Fairfield, died on Tuesday. Ann Drury, 78 of Clifton Forge, died on Wednesday. Robert Mitchell, 88 of Lewisburg, died on Tuesday. James Green, 81, formerly of Hot Springs, died Tuesday. Robert Montgomery, 68 of Lexington, died January the 12th. Patricia Mackey, 80 of Lexington, died on January the 10th. And Donald Lone, 80 of Millboro, died Thursday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be partly cloudy, high of 38 and a low of 27. And on Sunday, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain and snow, high of 42 and a low of 28. On Monday, partly cloudy, high of 43 and a low of 34 degrees. And there's good news. There's only 54 more days until springtime in Virginia. And that's the way it is on Friday, January the 25th, 2019. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. 
Thanks very much for watching Journal TV. 